Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Crash Lands. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the amazing support on the Crash Lands series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So you can see, I've been putting together quite a little collection of these Vama things. i actually been farming Vamas so much that I got a Vama egg. So I'm going to be able to incubate that in this episode, or I should be able to. I wanted to show you guys a little fighting technique that I had found. I thought this was pretty neat. So these things act like grenades. So if I throw them, if I throw something at it, it's going to explode. Anything in the vicinity will also take damage so you see how I just bombed those two things you can really really get some fun stuff happening here so let's just do this all right do I have do I have enough yeah I have three okay so let's let's get a couple things mad at us here we'll do this we'll do this we'll do this and we'll do this all right now I might as well do this too okay this is very dangerous because I got a lot of stuff mad at me. But the thing is to lead him into a trap. All right, here we go. Grenade. Pow! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Look at the stuff I just got from that. Really, really neat. Oh, my gosh. And that's what I get. <laughs> that's what I get for doing it. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, really cool, though. That was the biggest one I ever did. I thought I would save it for you guys off camera. Uh, on camera. All right. As you can see, I've been I've been exploring a few chunks, too. All right. Oh, I don't have any... Uh... God, I don't have any of those things set up. All right, no problem. Uh, we can just take a second to craft some stuff, and I can just go get that. So we have a, a multitude of things available for us right now. We have some armor that's available, some weapons. Let's make the hammer first, because I think that would be one of the most important things. Uh, also, we can make the arm wraps, the chest, and the hat which looks very very cool what about this this is the chaps what do we need for that we need uh we need 10 more of that which we should get and only one more of those which we should be able to get so sweet new weapon 1.5 actually we don't have any special stats on this thing stun chance turbo chance 10 percent that's pretty good uh, oh, it's of hustling. Okay, it just didn't show it right away. So, actually, I like that. The turbo chance is really, really good, and so is the stun chance. For melee, that's pretty much two of the things that you want to get. Really, really cool. Okay, what about this? Okay, hup, uh, of thorns. Okay, so damage reflection and toughness. Damage reflection's not really that great. I mean, it's all right. You know, if I were to be a melee character right now, it'd be all right. But we did get any, uh, a significant health bonus. Okay, let's equip that. Let's see about this chest piece here. Poison resist and shock chance, which freeze and berserk is probably better. But yeah, I'll still take it. And the hat only has four seconds left. Not too bad. Also got a bunch of novelty items here. And the hat. Now this looks pretty good. Turbo Chan Wow, excellent Vlap Face hat of the Quadrupus. Okay, so this is pretty much a legendary hat <laughs> because it's purple. Uh got Turbo Chance up, Berserk Chance up, Toughness as huge, and fire resist. We may just work on these things a little bit more, you guys. We may grab a few more. First, I'm gonna get the chaps. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> this hammer is way more awesome than that trowel. Hey, Juice Box, check this. God, this Hugo is so freaking annoying. What? What happened? That's some binary. Speak my language, Juice Box. Hugo just scrambled my tracking signal. So unscramble it. That should be easy for a mid-range palette model like you. Well, normally it would be, but he rewrote my subroutines so that they're doubly encrypted. That sounds doubly bad. It means I can't track the freaking packages, Flux. Well, I guess we'll have to find them the old-fashioned way. While wearing top hats? Oh, and monocle. While wearing top hats and monocles. Ha! Huh, a monocle. Who wears a monocle? Shut up about the monocles. We're flying blind here. Let's ask Grandmammy if anyone at the bog might know something about Hugo. All right. 
So there's some detective work that I have to do. We may as well talk to Grandmammy here. Hey, Grandmammy. Grandmammy, is there anyone around who can help us find the stuff in the bog? Well, the brothers are the only intelligent people around here, but they're a, con <laughs> a conniving, backstabbing, slippery people flux. Better than nothing, we have to find my babies, er, I mean my packages. It may not be better than nothing. It, 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 wait, I'll be organizing my own people. If you just, if you'll just be patient. We've got to take the chance, Grandmammy. Maybe we get a head start. Suit yourself. I recall an old brubbus roost not far from here that I visited during the war. Last I knew it was called Gluganax. But brubbus roost, uh, brubbus, I guess, I don't know what I'm going to call them. Brubbus roost are always changing their names. Head that way and talk to whoever the current rooster is. I'm going to call him maybe, I don't know, rooster? Uh, yep, the I'm gonna call them Brubuses. The Brubuses have a weird hierarchy, always obsessing about their place in it. Never could understand them. Okay, and also got my quadrupole buddies came through the portal while you were getting set up here, but we hit a snag. Makalak, our medical officer, went west until he found a weird patch of bog skin, then turned north, and I haven't heard from him since. I'm sure he's okay, but we need to be sure. Find that patch and head due north till you find signs of him. So we have a new quest, a few new quests. That's pretty good to know here. Uh, where is Juicebox going? Oh, it was just like wandering off to the east. Okay, so we just need a couple more of the uh where'd my gravestone go let's go west here actually you know what you know what C can we just use the speed potions i guess not that's kind of weird or where did my there we go all right i got speed for a little bit here that should speed up the journey, even though it took me just as long to actually finagle that. <laughs> There's a group of three right there. I need to get my gravestone back, though. Almost there. Oh, what is this? A, tho a thorak? That looks interesting. And these are Wojak diglings. Are they aggressive? Oh, those things are. They look like little jellyfish. All right. Got all my stuff back here. Very cool. Okay, I need to get a few of these before I go back. Oh, there's some potions here. Can I... Look, a potion. Malak must have been here not too long ago, but why would he leave a potion behind? He must have been in a hurry. Quick, Grandmammy said Malak would be north of the gross bog store. Let's go. All right, so I'll grab this. Is there anything we could do with that? We need a better trowel. Wow, already? Dang. Okay. I need to grab a few of these. Might as well grab a few of these. And we'll look for any good opportunities to bomb the... Uh, oh, those electricity things hurt me. We'll look for any good opportunities to bomb uh, these guys, the bombers. If there any, is any close, you know? I'm just grabbing stuff along the way because I know it's probably stuff that we're going to need sooner or later. Alright, maybe this will hit him? No, not even close, man. Not even close. Oh, there's a green Vama. That thing's probably hard as nails. Huh. Okay, you done picked the wrong guy. Oh, he sends, like, some thorns out. Ouch! Oh, he slows you down, too, when he does that. Well, that's nasty. Ouch! Dang! Tentacles. Oh, that was two of them? Oh, we hit pretty hard, and we get that, that speed chance. That's pretty cool. The attacks are kind of slow, but man, that's a nice uh, that's a nice hit. That is a nice hit. Okay. Man, we got a lot of these things around, don't we? Splinters? Are they called? Yes, splinters. 
I know we'll need some sooner or later for something. So I'm just going to kind of grab a few as I go. Uh, we're supposed to continue to head north until we find something. Ah, uh, Malik's Peninsula. So it's something that we're headed to here. I'm still not in full armor. Oh, what is this? Uh, all right. I imagine that I can just cross here with the build stuff. So let's go ahead and take floor. And we'll just use that. There we go. And we're across. Now, what is that? You need a better pickaxe. Okay, that's something. Oh, what in the heck? That's some big old tatas. And this is a big thing, too. Snorbles? Wow. Okay, that's different. Okay, we finally got one of these um, these pads. And what is this? Blutch. Apparently had got some before too and I didn't even know it. Okay, what? where are we, man? Malik's Peninsula. We need to find... We're a little bit out of the, the zone here. We need to find our buddy. Or Grandmammy's buddy. Whoever it is. Okay, this is a good opportunity. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it would have did more than that. Fine. Oh, now that. We can't pass up. There we go. And we got a schematic for it. Really cool. What is that? Fox sack? <laughs> almost sounds like a bad word. Uh, let's see here. What else? I don't see... I, I see these every once in a while, too. I try to get them. Uh, Sagato... Sagtoti? I don't even know how to say these words, guys. Weird language these butterscotch folks have. Okay, I still haven't found any sign of old boy. I wonder if that'll blow up that tree. No. It sure does not. It does not. All right, why? I've, I guess I, it shows that I've been all through here. So I'm slightly confused, as you can probably tell. Uh, don't shock me. Gotta blow this up because, you know. You know! It's just too easy, that's, that's just good pickings. All right, what are these? You need a better trowel. Okay, trowels for all of this stuff. Okay, again, we're outside the, uh, we're outside the box. Where is, I'm looking for signs of whatever that thing is. What is that? A sticky Wojak. A Trombite. Uh, oh, they basically, you form them the same way. Uh-oh, this guy's mad at me. I don't want to open it in combat. Oh, wow. He, that was that was mean of him to shoot at me like that like I don't know where to go I don't see I don't see when I don't see where let's look around a little bit here he is uh, let's see finally I looked all over for this guy what are you doing all the way out here Never been happier to see your stiff limbs, Flux. These freaking frog things keep swarming us. So you hit on a tiny peninsula? They're living artillery, Mac. Strategy isn't my strong suit. Medicine is. The bog speaks again. Prepare yourselves, aliens. Who is this? Not this time, Flux. We've got company. Uh... Well, they didn't even attack. All right. This should be a, just a good case of ring around the rosy here. I wish we had a, a few of those jollies. Ouch, that kind of hurt. This should be it right here. Nice. All right, that was easy. The bog is uneasy. All right. Uh, Oon? Keep a feeler on it. Thanks for the help out there. Here, Flux. Oon, you can sense what the bog is feeling? The bog has feelings? Oon here is a thresher. 
You know that ranking thing in Brubus are always on about? Un was so low on it, she fell off. <laughs> it was disappointing. <laughs> Once a Brubus falls into Thresher status, the ball gets hostile towards them. They're not just left alone. Far from it. The bog sees them as a menace. That's why we have her around. Malak, wait, Makalak seems like asking for trouble. Un is also somewhat special as a brubus. She has a closer tie to the bog than most, so she can hear its intentions. I'm not as skilled as Loon as some others, <laughs> but can hear the louder calls of the bog. The bog thrashes. Prepare yourselves. Again, Valma the bog defender. Okay, here we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna melee this guy a little bit. Hopefully, get turbo. There we go. Turbo is nice. Ouch, kind of hurts. Okay, cool. <laughs> wow, that was fascinating. I need to complete research notes. How is the bog now, Un? The bog mother is quiet. We may carry on. It may be quiet now, but I, dine, I doubt it'll complete my research before we get b attacked again. Need some help? Yes, would you gather the bog flora and I need to analyze? I need 10 of each blues, tusker, and blegfods. The ones that are all bumpy and yellow, they seem to have medicinal properties. All right, well, no scrounge them up and meet back here. No dying. Okay, what all do I need here? Um, Let's see. It's hard to tell if I have the stuff for a quest or not. I still am not able to tell that too much. Pitching camp doesn't say. All right. Well, I know I need to grab all of that stuff, so I'm going to continue harvesting stuff. Uh, but first, I need to head back and create the rest of my armor. All right, you guys. We went far enough to get stuff to make the chaps, so I'm going to go ahead and build those. Uh, we've been collecting quite a few resources. I think I got all enough plants for that quest too. Uh, and let's see what happens here. It looks like we can get these things potted too, potted tuskers. Uh, but I don't know how much I'm going to need for that quest, so I'm gonna I'm just going to wait here. All right, we got the hopefully toughness, poison resist. Okay, we can in fact play around. We do have a little bit of. Um, a little bit of, I guess, leeway with materials that we can do after this Doran quest and see if we can make a few more items that are good, like that legendary deal. Let's go back to the quest giver and see. Uh, let's see, how far do we have to go? It's just southeast of here, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Uh, I do want to get 10 of those too, just in case it was that, but I don't think it is. Okay, uh, hold on, I need to add floor here. I did find a fly shrine, my first shrine, so I went ahead and marked that. That's uh, on the map right there, actually. <laughs> all right. Most interesting, it seems these aren't plants at all, but are a collection of specialized bog glands and parasites. All I want to do right now is get away from... <laughs> You meat sacks. <laughs> you need something sturdy to cook them down for potions. Cauldrons would do the trick. Wait, you want Flux to drink potions made of bog parasites? <laughs> I'm feeling something. What is it? The bog rising up again? Ah, uh, actually, it's like Un has a massive head wound. So she does, silly me. In all the excitement, I failed to do proper once over. Sorry, Un. Uh, say, Flux. Could you whip up a few bleggy healing potions and do it somewhat quickly? How many do you need? Uh, three ought to suffice. Two for Un and one for me. Curse you, those Valmas. All right, so now I can actually go back uh, <laughs> and make this these potions, I guess. So I need to make a cauldron, which I don't know if I even have the, the thing to make a cauldron, huh? Do I? What is this? Oh, uh, this is a Vama incubator. We definitely need to build one of those. Where is the cauldron, though? Cauldron is here. Okay, so we need uh, more splinters. No problem. We can get those relatively. I knew we'd need them for something. Let's go ahead and make this. This is going to take away most of everything. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's going to take all of the ability to do anything uh, with uh, extra materials. But that's okay. So we need some splinters now. Um, approximately 10. Let's go back here. This was a new area that I was starting to explore. And there was a few things that I couldn't access, like these. You needed a better pickaxe. 
But there should be some splinters around here. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. And I'm just going to continue to harvest stuff as I go. So that I can really make potions when it's time to make potions. I'm hoping that they're pretty good. They should be better than the hearth potions due to the fact that they're in the second area, right? I mean, that's what I'm hoping for. Alright, how many splinters do we got? We always forget to track stuff, man. Alright, come on, Vama. And pow! Oh, what is this? The heck is that? My senses tell me it's super old. Huh? I don't know. Looks like it's in perfect condition. How could that be? And look at that weird insignia on the back. Let me take a scan and run it through the Bureaupedia. <laughs> See as it's cross references with anything. Flux, the only reference I can find is to is something called a Dusk Watcher. Bureaupedia doesn't say much else about it, and apparently that symbol has been found all over the known universe. Well, a broken watch is kind of useless to us. Let's just keep an eye out to see if anyone knows more about it. Alright. That seems kind of interesting. I don't know what that'll do. Hopefully it can, like, slow time or something like that. That would be awesome, huh? Like, I, I found a time warp shrine before, which was really, really cool. Uh, it slows down everything and lets you move, like, fast. You know, you can dodge shots and stuff like that. It's just much easier to fight. Okay, 14, 15... I think we needed at least 20, if I'm not mistaken. So this will be 16. Also, this is just in range, too. Gotta do it, guys. When it's that easy, I just cannot resist. It's just so good. Alright, 18. All we're gonna need is, like, one more after this. Also, I'm gonna have to get some more of those... Uh, some more of those... Tuskers so that I can plant them Because that seems like something I'm gonna need for potions for a while We could probably just eat them to tell you the truth. I didn't even think about that Let's look at them This is not what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay, so if I switch this to Uh-huh the Tusker Mmm, this little growth is absolutely bursting with fruity flavors. Mmm, restores 591 HP. Whereas this is 453 HP. Now, that's what I'm talking about. So, Tuskers do more than the actual potions do. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, yeah. We're definitely going to want some potted Tuskers, you guys. Definitely. All right. Uh, let's see. We should be able to do it with these. I'll just grab a few more since they're all in the same vicinity. And I see another Tusker here. I know I'll need some for these potions. Alright. That's probably good for now. If we do have to come back out, we just will. Okay. Uh, so let's go back. Let's make our new crafting station. Okay, uh, wait, no, we already made that. What was the crafting station that we needed? Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong, oh, wait, ah, I was clicking on the wrong one. I was like, what? <laughs> kind of confused there. Okay, so we can build that. It's going to take 24 seconds. We can also build five potted tuskers, but I think that is going to kind of mess up the deal of getting potions. Vama Incubator, ready to go. We'll go ahead and place that while we're waiting. Um, Vama Incubator. Very nice. This is going to be a new pet. Probably a lot like Turtle. Okay. Yeah! New station, baby! Alright, a few potions to make up from it. Nice. And we can place that right here. Okay. Now let's see what we need. So we need some of these. Blag healing potions. I have to make three. But I only need to use one to build it. Okay. Very good. Um, I am going to save that. What is it? 2,221 HP. Wow, and all it cost is these and the woo <laughs> That's a heck of a potion. Okay. Also, while we're waiting, let's make some of these so that I can harvest them every single time I come in. 
that would be pretty cool and i will make me i think i'll make a little garden outside honestly um let's see what i can do here if i do floors and switch to let's switch to wood floors here and i'll just do there we go and this will be like my greenhouse area and also we'll go with oh we didn't even make them yet did we wait i gotta go through all right we got the potted tuskers and we'll start placing them right here that way we can harvest them every time we log in and stuff and we'll start getting tuskers <laughs> that'll be pretty cool well, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Next time we come back, we're going to mess around with the new pet, I guess. We'll, we'll get the bomb. I don't know how strong it is. And we'll see about what it takes to embiggen them. We'll see about getting some new potions. And we'll complete the quest uh, to give the potions to our boy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time. And I'll tell you what, this is incredible, man. Oh, <laughs> and it just kind of gets back up. If you press down, it does the same thing again.